Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be talking about Steam Place latest version of Proton, which is 4.11-6. For those of you that don't know, Proton is a compatibility layer that lets you play Windows-only games on Linux. And so for this video, I originally wanted to check out the performance of GTA 5, but the new Rockstar game launcher doesn't work anymore so originally proton 4.11-6 was supposed to fix this and it appears for some users it does work for others like me it does not so looking at this the game is now borked for some users which kind of sucks because the game was working so well and it only got broken up because of rockstar of an update to rockstar's app launcher but it looks like valve and code weavers are working on it because they've at least have beginnings of support here this is what it looks like when i tried launching it it just kind of sat here and didn't really do much so maybe i'll play gta 5 for y'all in the next video the other game i kind of wanted to play here is um resident evil 2 so this game is installed on my hard drive and so this game should work perfectly fine i'm gonna skip it until the very end though because because you don't need to really see most of this i just kind of wanted to give you a taste of how it's running i was actually recording this externally from my laptop but the gameplay kind of looks buggy here in the recording so yes when you get to this cutscene and skip it it gets it still gets stuck loading here i know you can technically fix it with the workaround but for the purposes of this video i kind of want to know when this game works perfectly fine without any workarounds or anything like that you know for the average user all right and so the only other thing i wanted to say about steam play is that the thing that makes this um or the thing that makes it really hard to test a lot of the games is that I don't know if it's a bug or if it'll ever be fixed, but if the game is itself is not installed directly on your hard drive, um, so if it's like on another hard drive, like you have a Steam game library, Steam Play won't work on those games. So originally I downloaded Grand Theft Auto V to a different hard drive and it doesn't play, it didn't play at all. That's one thing that I'm hoping could be changed down the line because I'd like to have a whole library um, or a hard drive dedicated to just storing steam games but out of all these games that i have here let me know which games you're interested in seeing me test one game that i could test is outlast 2 hellblade the witcher 3 i could always run another test on the evil within i thought i actually had it installed but it turns out it was installed externally so it doesn't actually launch or work so i just kind of click play tries to launch it doesn't actually launch so that's a big hurdle right there the other hurdle you know preventing a lot of linux games or a lot of windows games from working on linux is the anti-cheat that still needs to be fixed um, to allow a lot of games especially mmos to work uh, on linux so again Steam Play does a lot of really good things right now, but I feel like the two big things are the anti-cheat and allowing games to be used externally. And maybe it does work, but maybe you'll have to use a a workaround of some kind, you know, tweak tweak the system a bit to get it to work. But I still think it should be, you know, just plug and play. But anywho, those are my thoughts on Steam Play for now. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.